I recently caught up with a former high school football teammate. This former high school football teammate is now in the NFL. And I said, Dylan, remember when you would get us all fired up and say, hey, you better be ready, Dayton. You never know who's going to get the ball when the game's on the line. When it's fourth and one and we need a first down to clinch the win, are you going to be ready for the ball? No. Everyone knew Dylan was going to get the ball. I didn't want the ball because I was never the best athlete on my sports teams. I was just okay. I was usually sitting out there, drifting off into space, brainstorming how I should break it to my dad that I want to quit sports and pursue the piano. I didn't want to be the go-to guy. And when the game was on the line, give the ball to somebody else. But now that I've met Chess, for the first time in my life, I'm not okay with being a spectator. Because when it comes to chess and the chess battle is on the line, what the ball? Give me the ball! That's obnoxious and true. I think I just put a hole in my cabinet when I threw the football violently. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Who's playing me? Hey, Gunner. What's going on here? Okay, Gunner. Sure. We'll trade Bishop's Gunner. Do a few puzzles to warm up. Good game, enemy robot. Um, we'll be seeing you. Black to move. Mm -hmm. Indeed it is. Oh, there your horse will steal me, so that doesn't work. Um, if I go there, what are you going to do to me? Don't, uh, terrible, Dayton. That's right. Nobody's perfect. And I got to work it. 
again and again till I get it right. All right, we're going to have to do some discovery check stuff here to the enemy. Dreams will be crushed. How do we want to crush his dreams? could do it that way. No? Needs to be nastier. Okay. So, go there. The horse is moving. Where's the horse moving to? Double discovery. So now the king has to move. Mm -hmm. Let's be back. Come on, man. You're right. Wake up, wake up, go there, Rook steals. Ah, okay, okay. No. Fuck. Really? Okay. I don't get it. Oh, that's brilliant. Man. Come on. Come on. Be better. Black to move. Black to move. Okay. We sacrifice our queen. We win chess battle. That's an easy one. <coughs> mm -hmm. We win chess battle. Win the chess battle. Lots of ways we could do it. Go there, Bishop comes. You know what? I'm just not feeling like puzzles today. It's going to take all my energy just to focus on one chess battle against this robot. That's what we're going to do. I'm telling you what, don't ever just here's some advice. If you're going to try Adderall, make sure you have a lifetime supply of Adderall. Because if you try Adderall and you like it and then you run out or your psychiatrist sees your YouTube channel and stops prescribing you Adderall, you'll want to jump off a bridge if you don't have Adderall. So that's my take on Adderall. It's great when you got it. It's bad when you don't. Early evening robot.
going with that approach to Sicilian proposals by the enemy robot. No, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Clever robot, real clever. Hmm. It's okay. Get your horse out of the middle. That's my middle. And now that's my horse. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? We evade. We will. Your pawn's unsafe. It's no longer unsafe. Great move. What's your plan? Plan is, of course, to win the chess battle. What's the sub plan of the larger plan? To control center, obviously. That's what we'll do. Mm hmm. Mm. My bishop's safe. You will not steal him or her. I don't know what gender bishops are. What is a bishop, really? What is a bishop? Let's find out. Bishop. Definition of bishop. Mm. A bishop is an ordained or appointed member in a religious institution who is generally entrusted with a position of authority and oversight. Beware of religious people with authority. Aside from my own personal pastor, I don't trust many leaders of churches. That shouldn't have been said. <laughs> Titles often used in churches, but is also used in some Japanese Buddhist institutions. I like Buddhism a lot, and but the Japanese. I don't know what Tenriko Tenriko is. I need to. I like to think of myself as a student of philosophy and religion, and I don't know what that is. So I need to read up. Let's make a note to do that later. Hmm. Okay, so what is a rook? Let's just go through the fucking list. Bishops alone have the right to confirm and ordain members of the clergy, and their main duty is to supervise the clergy hmm. by the Pope. That's a lot of shit going on. Okay, so what is a rook? Are all these going to come from the church stuff okay so so it's actually resemblant of a castle mm. police files are over what does a rook symbolize that'd be a better question <coughs> Ooh, cherry so it's like so like we're thinking infantry. Rooks are kind of like infantry, maybe. It's one range weapon barrier. What the fuck is going on? Okay. And a knight, pretty obvious. A knight would be what? Cavalry. So let's let's put the pieces of chess together. Okay. Sorry, Bishop. So in battle at least in ancient battles, my understanding is there were three main types of warriors. Infantry. Cavalry. And whatever the long-range people were, like snipers or slingers, David, whatever David was. So like Goliath would have been 
infantry, David would have been a slinger and cavalry would have been someone on horseback. Okay. Um, think about it like a really complex game of rock, paper, scissors. Or actually, it's basically like rock, paper, scissors. So you have, here's what I'm looking at it as. Um, we'll say this is David. Liar. Cavalry. Okay. So now let's let's do this. Let's put them in Excel. This is gonna be real fun. See how my my Excel skills are gonna be rusty, but I'm certainly well above intermediate in Excel, or at least I used to be. I did it every day. Now I don't. Okay. So now we have a bishop. Okay. We have our rook. We have our knight. Mm. Okay. So now what can we do here? <laughs> Now we need to make a bracket pairing. Um, so round one. Now we're going to go round two, round three. Okay. Now who are the who's who's playing who? Okay. And now we're going to go. We're going to go bishop versus knight. And now we're going to go bish shit. There's got to be a formula for this. Okay. Bishop. Okay, so now the bishop has played the knight and the rook. So now what we're going to do is the knight is going to play um, the rook. Bishop, knight, bishop, rook, knight, rook. Is that all? The bishop has played the horse. The bishop has played the rook. The bishop's good. The knight has played the rook. And the rook's played the knight. The rook's played the bishop. This should be it, right? Okay, so this is this is how I view war and a great way to view most any competitive endeavor. So think about the relative weights or values for each of the chess pieces. You know, a bishop is with a technical term bear with me. bear with me i'm fucking tired of life in the world so three three and five so a rook is theoretically strongest in the game of chess not always but i'd say almost always so now but when we pair them off like in rock paper scissors kind of now interesting because when the bishop plays the knight Okay, if we're thinking about it in terms of cavalry, infantry, and slingers, if the bishop is the slinger and the knight is the cavalry, cavalry beats slingers. That's actually the only way to beat slingers. That's why David fucked up Goliath. He was like a sniper to a sitting duck. But if you want to beat a slinger or sniper like David, you need someone on horseback. They're fast. But they're they're not as they're not as fast as a sniper, but they're more flexible than infantry, like Goliath was. Okay, so the winner of this battle is going to be the cavalry or the knight. Okay, that doesn't mean the knight is stronger than the bishop. It means it's just different. And in this scenario, the knight wins. Bishop versus a rook. Okay, rook is a castle. Okay, we're thinking like. We're thinking like Goliath. Goliath is our rook. And, uh, and uh, Bishop is Dave, David or the um, sniper. The sniper defeats the infantry. So though the rook has a greater relative value than the bishop, the bishop wins the battle. Okay? The bishop's not better or worse. It's just different. And in this scenario, it wins. Okay? 
knight and rook. So that's where you have essentially Goliath versus cavalry or someone on horseback. And that's where infantry fucks cavalry up usually. So that's where Goliath wins. Okay. That's the winner. Those are the winners. Okay. I didn't do a lot of shit with Excel like I planned on there. I'm not here to show off. I'm here to prove points and make moral arguments. And what point did I just prove? I don't know. But I think it's something like this. Why can't we all just work together and get along? Because how much cooler would it be if these people weren't battling against each other and worked on the same team for the same goal? Imagine what they could have accomplished. All right. Bye-bye. Excel. What is a rook? What does it matter? What do you care? What is life? It's nothing. It's irrelevant. We're all meaningless. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. And we're going to castle early. We're also going to castle often. That's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. mm. Genius stuff by you. Y'all know I prefer to get a lot of stuff off the board if I if I can. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we did. Mm. Take it. Told you you would. Idiot. You're so dumb. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, can you threaten enemy queen? No. Okay. Not really. You can go there. Go there. You just do. You need to retreat your bishop. Save your bishop. Nothing hangs. You're good. It's the only move. Don't overthink it. Mm -hmm. Okay, enemy. You got. You got to maintain that pawn is the challenge. So your queen is limited in what it can do at the moment. Go there. Mm, mm. Boom, boom. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You're good, you're good. Mm. What are you doing to me? You're not going to sacrifice anything. That'd be dumb. Boom, boom. Yeah, you won't do that. Queen's off the board, please. I'd love to. No? Okay, okay, okay. So we advance our, we will keep advancing our pawn. That's fine. But then you're going to leave that. Love, I don't love that at all. Okay, okay, okay. So if you take the queen with well, then the horse could take is why the enemy made that move, which I don't love. Great move by the enemy. I watched the Bobby Fisher documentary, one of them. I'm sure there's many. Um, this one was called Bobby versus the World, I believe. And it said that. Boris, I don't want to mispronounce the name, the really good Russian dude, Boris Spassky, I believe. When Bobby played a brilliant game, I guess Boris supposedly gave him a standing ovation, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. If I go there, that leaves the fucking pawn there. 
right in the middle of my party and I don't enjoy that. So what if I went there? Mm, how interesting would that be? And then I can put more pressure there. You could do that. And I will. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, your queen. I get it. I get it. It's not personal. Be hesitant to just get the queens off the board because you don't like enemy stronger robots queens being in play. Have a purpose for your moves, Dayton. But also, if you can get the fucking queens off the board, it wouldn't be bad because enemy robots stronger than you. It's okay as long as you can admit that. So we're going to do, we're going to get the queens off the board, make it less complicated. I'm happy about that. Now we're just going to play some really strong chess. Okay. If you do that, the rook could get active. Also, I guess if you, but your only other options are you can slide your pawn up and you can start advancing some pawns, really building a good pawn structure in the middle even invading enemies side of the middle. You could slide your rook. Okay. It's not necessarily a lot of, a lot of moves could work here. It's not a wrong move. It's just you know your goal and your mission on the battlefield of life and in chess. Okay, so let's, we can slide to E1. We can slide to E1, rook A to E1. We could slide up. What? We can have so much fun here. Chess is so fun. We could go there. I think we'll go there. Mm -hmm. Now let's get some rooks off the board. That's what we'll do. Thank you. A lot of really good stuff going on by me. A lot of really great stuff. Mm -hmm. If you go there, enemy steals you. Then you're putting immediate pressure on enemy hanging d7 pawn. Now, if you don't go a4 on this next move, enemy can slide and force your bishop away. It'd really be a great, It'd really get some good control over here. Okay. So that's the likely move is a4. Is there anything where that move might not be great? I think it's gonna be great. So we go there, you can slide up and, and ignore my pawn, but then I'll steal you. That's the move. Mm. Did not foresee that and that happening exactly. And so now the challenge is gonna be. You're going to want to steal me. I'll steal you back. Then you'll steal my pawn. I don't like my pawns being stolen. You know I don't. So what if we go there? Then if you steal, your bishop can have a discovery attack opportunity, but it won't discover shit because I'll protect my pawn with great pawn structure. And you know I like great pawn structures. That's the move. Hmm. Was that the best move? Well, only time shall tell. Okay. Now, now which pawn do we want to try to pass? There's a question. It's really the main question I'm after right now. Okay. I really like this rook controlling the F file. I think that's going to be my primary advantage. Okay. So if I go there... Okay, we also need to get our king centralized. That could be a huge deal in this ballgame. 
in a very close, well-fought battle. Okay, evaluate the position. Control of center, you definitely have the edge. The enemy is making a strong push on the queen side. Material is equal. The pawn structure is fucking fantastic, though. Got to like a lot of things about your pawn structure. It's not perfect, but it's very good. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Are you thinking your bishop's going to slide over there? And your rook's going to come up and you're going to get some push with your rook to b6? What are you thinking? I don't get it. I don't get you, robot. In the meantime, we're going to continue to, we're going to centralize our king before you can. We're just going to win the fucking chess battle is what we're going to do. Good luck. Be careful. If you cut the king off. Take away your in-game principles. Rook's behind past pawn. That's not super relevant at the moment, but it will be soon. King centralized. Let's centralize your king if possible. Absolutely. Okay. Horses. No horses in the game. Those rules are irrelevant. Um, outside past pawns. No. Okay, okay. You know, you can trade off pawns. That's that's totally plausible. But then your king's going to be on the edge. Is that, what you, is that what you want? It's really your life. I mean, whatever you want is fine. It's not always a wrong move on the battlefield of life. Okay. You advance that pawn. That weakens nothing, right? I mean, it does weaken some stuff, but not bad. Because then is that square super relevant? It's protected with that one. That square is protected with that one. But then you, if I go there, then you could slide up. Takes, takes. But then your bishop, if it does evade, then the rook behind that pass pawn is dangerous. I like my bishop staying there because those pawns are really good. That's what we do. That's the move. Take it. Told you you would. Stupid. What are you doing to me? Got to be real careful with that bishop leaving, man. It's really going to be dangerous. Keep advancing our pawn. Certainly nothing wrong with that move. Yeah. No choice. Okay, so if you go there, enemy king's just going to slide back to where it came from, g7, and then you'll be in trouble because then you can't advance. So do you see any opportunities to break through is a question which could be asked at the moment. Centralize your king. 
Now, now the downside is you got, you got to really protect that pawn from danger because if the king gets it, it's easy passing to the promotion square. That's not good for me. So you can't really get your king too much on this side. But if you get your king around and then defend that pawn with your king on F. Man, I'm going to be late to get my dog from daycare. Shit, sorry, Nova. She'll understand, hopefully. If you get around to there. If you tie him up over here, can you just break through? Can you, can you use some shit and just win the chess battle on your own with these pawns? Probably not. What if, what if we do this? What if we get our king and just get a little complacent, get our king to F4, and then we've got that pawn protected from bishop attacking. Then we advance that pawn and we really mess him up bad. That's an option because we can't do that. That would be silly to do, right? Because then the king, it's just a draw because if you go there and your king's on, then you can't advance him. So that's what we do. That's the move. It's easy. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Be careful. So if you're there, then that forces king to there almost, it's almost has to. You can win that pawn. Else you go there, you slide your bishop, you take that pawn. This is a key decision. You better fucking make the right choice here. So if you eliminate those, basically, if you go there, you're eliminating these pawns. Because that's going to force him to protect that pawn, probably. Gotta be the move. Mm -hmm. if you go there, and then you go there. Be okay. Right. You gotta take. You'd like to get that move in, but it's not a plausible move at the moment. It's got to be a king move. Okay, and it will be. Mm hmm. Win the fucking game. Win the game. Go there. If you go there, steal. Steals back.
would have to take. Be careful, man. At least force him to give you the bishop if he's going to take it. That was a bug, the bug. You idiot. You had that. Gosh, dang it, that's, that's depressing. It's almost as depressing as the possibility of another lockdown this winter. <coughs> God. Yeah, good for you. Damn it! What I do wrong? A better question is, how can I be better? How's your accuracy? 82, that's solid against a stronger robot. Okay. God, that makes me angry. So angry. Okay. So first of all, we're going to prepare to print that out. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm. I don't get that. What was my move? She takes on d4. Okay, that's just you trying to get material off the board, which isn't bad, but okay, what, was, what would be four done for you? So then he can't take. Why can't he take? Because then he loses that middle pawn. Okay. So then that forces the queen out of the middle. Yeah. How is that a great move? Act like I didn't hand you that. <laughs> now what, what would that have done? Prevented that. That way, I mean, that way it doesn't force my horse away from its strong central position. Love that move too. Get my pawn some freedom. Put immediate pressure and defense on that pawn. Mm, interesting. Okay, what are we thinking with this strategy? Then are we thinking of advancing our pawn up? Then D takes on C3, okay. Then what are we doing? What's going on here? And then we're just still going B takes? Not rook? Well, what's the point of our rook coming if we're not going to use our rook to take? I don't get you. I don't get robots. I just want all humans. It's odd that I don't really enjoy interacting with most humans, yet I hate robots. You'd think I'd like robots if I don't love all humans. That's certainly not the case. I hate robots. Probably because they're built by humans. Now what's the move? God, Nova's going to hate me. Come on. All right, fine, fine, fine. F5, then D4. So we're going to leave that, and we're going to go D4. Then we're just going to let that hang. Fuck, man, I got to go get my dog. Also, Nova did not adjust to apartment life well in St. Louis. You want me to use my king instead? What would that have done for me? See, I thought I was really winning here, and it would show I'm not. In fact, I'm losing. Oh, that's an ugly, that's ugly, ugly, ugly stuff. So... We let you back in it. And you said, no, thank you. Now, this is where I really needed to figure my life out a little bit. No? Okay. So I really had no business even drawing this game. Which I agree. Again, this robot's a ton better than me. No? Terrible, terrible. But no, what is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Because then what do you do? Then what are you going to do? Then you have to go back there. You take on B3. No, yeah, that's not right. You're going to give me a queen robot. Right? All right, I'm going to analyze when my dog doesn't need me. Quick update. Nova hated the apartment life, which I was giving a quick trial before I sold my house and moved to St. Louis to save money and play chess all day. So that complicates my decisions because she does not like the apartment. She needs the house. I don't have the money for both. So I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do there. See ya.